Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about why do we need modularity and why do we need modules. Now in fact everyone knows in Java 9 we got a concept of modules and with packages and jars we will also be using modules to make our software development experience much better. But why do we need it and what, what advantage will we be getting using modules? So to explain that, I will be using an IDE here, here which is IntelliJ. Again, you can use any IDE which you prefer. Uh, you can use NetBeans, you can use Eclipse. But when you got a, free, uh, you got a plugin for Java 9, the problem with uh, NetBeans now is it is working with Java 9, but then it's not working on my machine. So I guess it is not working on some of the configuration. And uh, with Eclipse, you have to install a plugin. And again, I'm not able to find that. But IntelliJ is working perfectly with Java 9. So if I open IntelliJ platform here, so as of now, IntelliJ is one of the best platform for Java, uh, but then you can also use Java 9 on NetBeans or Eclipse once, once, it, once they uh, roll out the version. Now I'm opening IntelliJ, you can use any, any uh, IDE after some time. So as of now, we don't have uh, a good support on NetBeans and Eclipse. Okay, so I will create a new project here. I will say new and I will say a project. Now this will be a Java project and I have installed Java 9 on my machine so you have to make sure that you are using uh, the 9 SDK uh, which is DDK and I will click on next. I don't want any Kotlin or uh, Groovy support here so I will click on next and uh, anything else here nothing just next. I will name this project as my uh, module demo or mod demo so I am creating multiple mods in this project. Okay, in fact, I will not be using modules. I will be using a feature, which is, I will be doing a code we using normal Java, which we should do in Java 8 and Java 7. And let's try to understand what is the issue with that, and then we'll move towards uh, modularity. So in this video, we'll only focus on why do we need modules. Okay, so let's say if I have a scenario. So let me create a class here, Java class. I will name this class as runner, and I love this class name's runner. And in this runner, I want my main functions. I will say PSVM tab, you will get your main function there. Now in this main, I want to add two numbers. I'm going for the simplest example possible here. So let's say I want to add two numbers. Maybe I want to add uh, two float numbers, two integers, doesn't matter. I just want to add two numbers. You can go with as complex example as you can think of, think of but let's to make it simple since we all know how that works. So I can take two variables here, we'll say int i, we can assign the value and we can, you know, we can uh, do the calculation here. But normally what we do is we do the calculation in some separate class, in some separate packages. So first of all, I will move this class into a separate package. I will name this package name as package uh, com dot telesco and I will try to put this into a package fold. Okay, so, okay, so we have to move it. So when you go to the package, it should give the error symbol and say move to package. Okay, you can see we got a package called the telesco where you have your runner. And I want to have a class in a separate package now. So I will say a new uh, class and I want to have this class name as calculator. Uh, calculator. And we'll say okay. But again, it will be going to the same package. I will just change this package name as util because I want to have all my calculator, uh, all my extra things in util package. Okay, in this util package, I want to add two numbers. First of all, you're getting an error because it is not there in the util package. So what I will do is I will click here, I will go to this error and say move to package. You can see in, uh, in util, we got calculator now. Now in this calculator, I want to have a method which is public int add, which will add two numbers, of course. And you can pass int r, you can pass int j, and you can add, you can add your numbers here. So you can say return i plus j. We can do this, right? Okay, now let's say we have this scenario where you are doing this add i plus j. But then maybe uh, you want to add these two values, but then if the value of int, uh, okay, let's just, let's, let's, let's use this thing first. What I will do is I will try to use this calculator here. So what I will do is I will say, um, okay, first of all, I pick an object of calculator. You can say calculator c equal to new calculator. And I can say c dot, uh, add I can pass two values four comma five. Okay. Now this the suggestion you are getting i colon four and j colon five. Uh, you you will get that only in IntelliJ as of now. Uh, that's not a Java feature. That's IntelliJ feature. Okay. I will put that in a variable called as result and I will set int result equal to c dot add four comma five. And then I will be getting my result in. Uh, I, uh, let me just print my result. I will say s out and I will print my result as result. You can see we are doing, uh, we are trying to print it. 
Now, will this work? Of course, why not? It will not why it will not work? So it will it will work for sure. When you run this code, you can see in the output window we got nine. So when you add four comma five, we got nine. It's working. You'll be thinking, what's difficult in this, and why we why do we even need modules? Because we are not doing any, any of the stuff here. Now, what I will do is I will just do some modification. Again, this this the same code will work on Java 8 and Java 7, Java 6 as well. Okay. Now, what's different? So let me just make some modification here. Let's say, uh, or maybe some uh, set change in the uh, requirement. Let's say if the value of this integer values go beyond uh, a certain value, let's say, or maybe I just I can pass a 4.6 4 and 4 point, 5.7. I may pass float values. So normally what we do is if you pass float value, we need to have one more function here, which is public int and add float values. But then this float value will only add or maybe double value. So it will say add double value. It will be int i, not int i. It will be double uh, i and double j. And we will return. But then I don't want to return the float value. I want to return the int value. Or I don't want to return the double value. I want to return int value. Now we can do that here. We can do that and we can add those, number, add those numbers. So we can say uh, double, I mean int format of i. Uh, plus in format of j right we can we can do this and this will work so even if you pass double value now this should work uh, but it's not working here what's wrong oh so it should be the method name should be add double in fact we don't even have to change the method name uh, we can have the same method name as we know we have a concept of overloading okay so this should work so even if i pass different values this should work Right. So if I right click and if I say, uh, in fact, I will change this value to, let's say, 9.6 just to get a different output. And I will run this code. You can see we got what? We got uh, 14. We, got, we are getting the answer. Now, what I will do is, don't you think we are doing the same stuff here? What I want is, I want to have a separate class which will add these two numbers. So I will say a class name is adder helper or add helper. I will say add helper and in this class add helper I just want to have a method which is public int add which will add two values it will take only int value int i and j and it should return i plus j again for this simple addition we don't have to get a separate class but imagine you have a complex problem where you are runner want a solution you are doing that with a calculator but calculator itself needs a separate class called as helper and I want to have this helper in a separate class. Maybe I will say this is internal package because I don't want anyone else to use this. This class will be used only by calculator. I don't want anyone else to use it. So here, instead of doing this i plus j, I will simply use an object of add helper. Uh, we'll say helper or help helper equal to new add helper. Now with this object, I can simply say helper dot add and I can take two values we can we can pass i comma j so you don't have to perform this operation two times you can simply pass the values here right now okay again let me repeat this this doesn't make sense for the simple simple example like this but if you have been to, into Java world from a long time you know how complex a uh, code you can write so for complex code we always create different layers right so let's say we are passing i and j in the int format so we, when you pass it, you are passing it as an int format and the helper will add the values for you. So what we are doing from runner, you are using calculator and calculator itself is using helper to add those two values. And this will work for sure. Again, we are not doing anything fancy here. So this should work. You can see we'll be getting the output as 14. That's right. Now everything is working perfectly, right? We got different packages. So this class here, which is internal, now don't you think this class internal should be used only by calculator? And that's that's our agenda here, right? Add helper is an internal part of the software. So anyone else, so let's say if you export this project as a jar file, or someone else will include this particular jar file, they can use all the packages. You cannot control that, right? I mean, can you control? So let's say if you exp export this, this project as a jar file, and someone try to access runner they can do it because you are uh, exporting the jar file can they use calculator yes they can use can they use add helper yes they can but we don't want them to use internal cl internal classes 
I, I don't want anyone to use my ad, ad helper. Even if you write in the documentation, if you mention, hey, let's say, uh, if you get a documentation here, that, that's how you do it, you say double star, and you say, uh, don't use this plus, only for internal uh, use. Even, even if you do that, you know, some people will understand, okay, this is a class which is used for only internal purpose of, this, of the JAR file or the project. As, uh, so if you are using this JAR file in your project, so in your project, you don't have to use this class. But can you stop them? Of course, you can suggest them, but can you stop them? Of course not, right? You cannot do that. So even if you don't want to allow them to use add helper, you don't have a control. And that's where module will help. So if you create modules in this, uh, you can separate your packages with the help of modules. Instead of creating multiple packages because in packages you, can, you don't have a control, but in module you can you have a control. You can control what is visible to the outside world and what is not visible to outside world. So if you can modify this code with the help of modules, you can actually control the other people can use calculator but they cannot use add helper. That's one of the things we can do. The next thing is, let's say if you use some external jar files and if you miss uh, one of the jar files, you will get error at runtime. But the advantage with modules, if you use modules in jar files, uh, and if you say one module needs another module, you don't have to, I mean, you, you will not get error at runtime, you will get error at compile time. So at the compile time itself, you know, hey, something is not right, which is much better than runtime error, right? So in the next code, we'll try to understand how can we solve this problem with the help of modules. So we'll write a module and we'll decide what is visible to the outside world and what is not visible to outside world. Example, when I say outside world, imagine this runner is, is from outside world, right? This is not uh, in the same package. So even if it is not in the same package, I can actually create object of add helper. You see that it is importing the package which, which we don't want anyone to use. I, I want this internal package should be internal only to util. In fact, just to make it more interesting, I will move this package inside util just to define that ut internal belongs to util and they will work, right? But then will this work in the uh, in the helper? So if I say control space, you can see I'm still able to use add helper. There's no, there's no one to stop me there, right? And that's where I want to have a control in modular uh, using modules. So how to do that? That we'll see in the next video.